progress. Nature to man. Man to machine. The path to our future. Oscorp. The Oscorp of today is evolving, and innovative technology needs a guiding hand. Under the direction of Dr. Alistair Smythe, the betterment and security of human life has become our one goal. His mastery of nanotechnology and macro robotics will guide Oscorp Industries to a better and brighter tomorrow. Nanobots, what are they? Imagine a robot, now imagine 400 of them, standing on a dime, a microscopic army working on a molecular level. Their size is their strength and their potential is limitless. The leadership of Dr. Alistair Smythe will usher in a new era of progress for Oscorp and mankind. Oscorp, a new company with the name you trust. Hey guys, what is going on Pixelings? This is Bradley here, and this is my Let's Play series for The Amazing Spider-Man on the Nintendo Wii. So this is the kind of downgraded version since it doesn't have that open world feature to it like the Xbox 360, PS3 versions. Nevertheless, please web sling over to that like button and crush it and to help support this Let's Play series for the Amazing Spider-Man on the Wii. So, yeah, I am a big Spider-Man fan and I read the comic books of Spider-Man and stuff like that. So don't be afraid if I nerd out while I play this game. I, I played the 3DS demo of the Amazing Spider-Man. I like the combat system. I like the web rush type of system in this game. And yeah. So, that was a little introduction to Oscorp in the beginning. It's like a little introduction to Oscorp. Learn about some nanobots. And yeah, let's get into this game. It's our new game. I'm gonna go with Hero. Because I'm not feeling like a superhero. I don't want any dialogue and stuff like that. So, this is a let's play, and I don't want to die. You know what I mean? I'm gonna turn the subtitles on for you guys so you guys can hear it. Or so you guys can read it. Can't really hear subtitles. Okay, whatever. Let's start the game. Peter, what are you doing here? I'm here to get you out of this asylum. But you put me here, and with good reason. I can't. I know it's crazy, but time's running out, Connors. Something bad has happened. Something really bad. All right. Just so you know, this is an epilogue to the movie. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, this game is going to contain spoilers. Just as this little uh, cutscene, or not really a cutscene, little dialogue between Kurt Connors and Spider-Man just showed. Nevertheless, yeah, if you haven't seen the movie yet, well, it's going to contain some spoilers. But nevertheless, let's get into the game. 16 hours ago. Hey there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, Pete. You're brave. When you are so tan. We're gonna have to be careful here. Not Why are your cheeks so white? After hours. I hope it's better than the first time I snuck in. That was not fun. We're not sneaking. We're investigating. Weird things happen here after hours. His camera. Dr. Smythe's trying to get rid of. He's not a bad guy, you know? He wants to turn this company around. Yeah, that's what the video said. So, what exactly is rotten in the state of Oscorp? I think they're continuing Dr. Connor's Those work. Cheeks. Cross species experiments. Why are they so white? Come on. Whoa, whoa now. Like, making more lizards? Making more everything. I I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out tonight. Oscorp has the geniuses and the resources. I mean, why can't it be a benefit to people? That's why I came back. And Dr. Smythe wants to change things. <laughs> I know. His brilliant research will usher in a new era for all humanity. Oh, you sarcastic huh. little guy, Spider-Man, okay. you. Just wait a second. Crack for code. Well, we're definitely safe out here, because we'll never get in. We're in. Huh. Keep your head down. Yeah, those are some brutes. Wow. Look at those guys. Look at all this. I knew Dr. Smythe was the nanobot guy, but I had no idea he had big bots. Spider too. Slayers or what? I can't believe mm -hmm. you get to play with this stuff every day. <laughs> it never gets old. Whoa, what is that? That is the rhino. Oh my god. This could be proof they're continuing Connor's work. 
part of the sinister story. Is that all you got? You're the one that had the sedata. How can he still do it like that? I'm sorry. I gave him everything we had. Is everyone okay? Gwen? Are you all right? Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Smythe. Hey! You kids are in big trouble. What are you doing it's here? It's okay. It's okay. They're with me. What are you doing here, Gwen? You know you're not supposed to be here after hours. Especially with a guest. Uh, Dr. Smythe, I am so, so sorry. This is my friend, Peter Parker. Peter Parker? The guy reminds Peter me of Jake Parker. Gyllenhaal. I'm hearing a lot about you tonight. So, why are you oh, here? Oh, I'm totally to blame, Doc. I, uh, I'm amazed at what you've done with Oscorp. I, when I heard about the changes you were making, you know, uh, nanobots, I wanted to see them for myself. You worked uh, with Connors, right? Funny finding you here now as I waste my time trying to dispose of these cross species. So this is a cross species? You promised me that all of Connor's work was over. But, uh, how many more do we keep here? I told you the truth, Gwen. The experiments have stopped, just not as early as I'd hoped. No more humans turning into animals like Connor's did. But what you see here is what happens when an animal gets a nice dose of human DNA. Here, follow me. I trust you'll keep everything you see in the strictest confidence. So it's vice versa then? Instead of the humans getting the DNA, it's the animals getting the human DNA? If you understand that. Look at the huh. little guy! Another one of these cross species? This is crazy. The lizard almost destroyed the city. Well, what rational mind would continue to create these things? Changing the ethics of a large corporation takes time. Now, some scientists argue that these Look at them in pathetic there. creatures have some benefit, but they lost that argument. As of tonight, these cross species disappear. We're shipping them to our bio lab for safe disposal. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, has this thing eaten today? It always the looks vermin. Bad. They went farther with Connor's work than we realized. The species in this room are incredibly dangerous, and highly contagious. Hence the containment units. Hey, where'd he go? Come on out, little fella. That little fella is a walking disease. Any direct contact with it leads to infection. Infection leads to death. Or becoming a cross species yourself. I want to keep you human, Parker. Let's keep moving. Is there a cure? Well, for these things, no. Oh, the irony. They were never that was human verbal irony. They were born in a petri dish. For the poor humans, it infects. Unfortunately, not. Attempts to develop an antidote have been unsuccessful. I don't want to seem cruel, but you have to understand that thing is pure vermin. Creatures like this brought Europe to its knees with the plague. Hey, cutie. Wow. Well, I don't think he likes me. That's strange. It only reacts like that when it's around other. I mean. <clears throat> other handsome guys like me? I'm used to it. Unlike robots, biological creatures are unpredictable. I much prefer things I can control. Unpredictable, like huh? What is that? An iguana? This has to be the strangest office tour I've ever been on. Don't worry, Parker. Another, Our next stop is the another villain, Spider-Man. The iguana here? right there. Hey, excuse me, Dr. Smythe. I need someone with special clearance to help me take this down to B sector. No, I don't have time for this. Hey, Gwen, maybe it's a good thing you're here. You can deal with some of this bureaucratic nonsense. A punishment for uh, trespassing. Go with him and catch up with us when you're done. Uh, doctor, I think I'll escort her. You know, make sure she doesn't get eaten. <laughs> I understand. The beast is as enthralled by beauty as man is. Meet me in the lab when you're done. And don't wonder. It's an order, Miss Stacy. Sure, Dr. Smythe. Come on, Pete. Uh, great meeting you, Doctor. Likewise, Parker. Hey, Scorpion. Is that... you got to be kidding me. That's taking things a little far, isn't it? It's a terrible legacy. But Dr. Smythe says we're putting it in the past. I believe him. What the what? What did you do to it? I... I didn't do anything. Peter, I think it senses your blood. It knows. It's clearly reacting to something. It knows you're Spider-Man. Oh you're part Spider-Man. Oh, I shouldn't have brought you back. They don't like cross species. Oh, 
look at the iguana. How did the iguana get out? Things get out of Oscorp. I don't want to think about what ifs right now. What? These robots look like they want to eat me for lunch. They've been programmed to defend us against cross species, which I guess you technically are. So, yep. yeah, watch out, Pete. Robots hey, don't boys, like me. How about you try thinking for yourselves on this one? I'm not so bad when you get to know me. I'm a good cross species robot. <laughs> No. Oh my god, did you see that? Please. Don't worry, no. Get you out of here. They're just running rampant. It's not working. It got me. There's the vermin. It's. Wait, that's, that's not the vermin. Alright. Alright. Door's open now. Whoa. What happened here? Maybe you can web swing across. Webbing swing. There's the rhino. They're just going wacko in this Oscorp facility. Move camera, center camera. You can toggle the camera mode in the settings mode. Okay, dokey. Thank you very much. All right, hold A and be the okay, web swing. Oh, that's how you sent. Okay. Find the More robots! Here. Watch out! Every robot have to attack me? Oh yeah! Ooh! Kaboom boom. Alright, little spider. Come on. Dodge. Oh, you gotta shake to dodge. That's cool. Okay. Uh, web breath. Boom. Web shoot. Okay. I'm a light packer. Time to get out of here. Okay, where are you going? What's this green stuff? It's not that I'm not enjoying Extra myself content, here. new audio. Shall we go? I'm a little busy down here. What's this thing? Ah, oh, a little. Another mutant. I think it's calls for a job for the X Men. Well, I'm a little busy over here. You're gonna tear the place apart. Gwen, don't say such nonsense. Spider-Man's here. Corridor. Get Gwen to the the door's been sealed. We need to find another way. It's pretty dark in here. Okay. Whoa. What's with the laser light show? Great. Oscorp security system. Quarantine's on the other side. Stay here, Gwen. I'll come back to get you. 
Yeah, before the Berman takes another chunk out of her arm. Uh, I don't... Uh, six... Five... Nine. That was simple. Alright, now I got a web rush. Where? Where do they... Oh, okay. Nice one, Peter. Find a way to open the sealed door from the other side. I, think I need to change the brightness in this game. Let's see here. How do you get to the main menu? Uh huh. Oh, there we go. I need to make the brightness just a little bit more bright. Tell you barely see the spider logo? Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay. I think this might work better. There we go. This isn't very secure if it tells me the actual code of the security system. Oscar, if you're lacking in the security. Web rush again. Oops. Yeah, they found me. Crawl through. Fall down. Whatever that is. No. Do I have to destroy the those cameras or something? Spider-Man, your sneakiness, sneaky, sneaky, sneakiness is not working out. Maybe I'll jump over here. Then I'll jump in here. Boom, boom. What? What? What is this nonsense? Okay. All right, Spidey. Jump up here. What are the other one? Okay, wait for it to go by like that. Wait. Not yet. How do I exit? There we go. Okay, phew! Go over here. Mm -hmm. Break that, baby. Do it. Oh, Web retreat. There we go. Oh. Time for some Take that. Time for some Enjoy these babies. Jam the generator. Easy come, easy go. Pete, I need your help. Yeah, I know, you got bit by the vermin. Hey, hold on. Let me get this green stuff right here. Extra content. Okay, Gwen. Let's go. Getting you to safety. Thanks, Pete. Okay. Now we'll go. Here? No, I just came in that way. What's in here? I need to get the others before this really gets out of hand. Pete, I think we both know that this is already out of hand. 
Dr. Smythe will have some answers. Find him. I'll try, but Gwen, I have to ask. What's gonna happen? To you? I don't know, but it's not going to be good. I'm infected, Pete. We all are. You remember what happened to Connors. This only leads to one thing. But Turning into a giant bird. the antidote? If it worked before... Th Connors was exposed to an earlier strain. You couldn't even call it a virus back then. It's evolved. Mutated. There's no antidote to cure this. What if I stop all the cross species? There's no question they should be stopped. But even if they are, there's, there's still a risk that the virus will spread. Gwen, stay calm. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? We'll figure it out. I'll find Dr. Smythe and the others. Hopefully, it's not too late. Wait, Peter. Take the Oz phone on the table. The what? It's the name of the Oscorp phone. It's still a prototype, but at least I'll be able to call you. Okay. I'll get back as soon as I can. Uh, if it's a Did prototype, is it gonna malfunction? Yes, I got him and the other scientists to the quarantine, but they're all infected. And the cross species, where are they? I tried to stop them, but they escaped. Well, you caught me, the lizard. Why should these creatures be any different? Uh, you have no idea. Yeah, there's a giant rhino, there's a scorpion, there's an iguana. And there's a vermin running around town. That is not the same as a lizard. There is many more going around town. All right, guys, that will bring us to the end of part one for Let's Play Lego. Oh, wait, not Lego Batman. This is the Amazing Spider-Man for the Wii. Stay tuned for part two. But say goodbye, pixelings. I'll talk to you all later in the next video, guys. Bye.